guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new, all of my social media is linked down below. If you wanna check any of that out, along with my other veterinary vlogs. Working in a veterinary clinic, I deal with a lot of poop. Cleaning poop, describing poop, and testing poop samples. So as you can tell from the title of this video, these are different ways that you can test fecal samples. This is part of my how-to series, and this video is more geared toward people that work in a veterinary clinic or who are going through school. So I will be teaching you how to do a fecal flotation, a direct smear, and a fecal sedimentation. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is put some gloves on because when you're handling fecal material, you're always at risk for getting a zoonotic disease, so we're going to wear gloves. I do have a two gram sample here and then also some sodium nitrate solution. This is what I'm gonna use to float the sample. So I'm gonna take the fecosol and I'm going to mix it in this container and then just take a fecal loop and mix the sample with the solution. So once my sample is mixed, I'm going to take my flotation cup and some gauze just to strain out the large particles. I'm just gonna pour the sample into the cup. So all the larger particles are going to get stuck in the gauze and I'm just gonna throw this away. I'm gonna take the sample and I'm going to fill it to the top until there's a little bubble. I'm gonna take a cover slip and just place it right on top. I'm gonna let this sample sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll come back and read the sample. Okay, now I'm gonna do a fecal flotation with centrifuge. I'm going to put some gloves on again. <laughs> and I'm basically gonna do the same thing that I just did. So I have a two gram fecal sample. I'm gonna mix it with some fecosol. I'm just gonna mix this sample again with a fecal loop. Then I'm just gonna take another empty container to just strain the liquid into. I'm gonna take just a four by four gauze, place it over the lid, and then I'm just gonna strain my sample through. So my solution with the large particles, I'm just going to throw away. Then I'm going to take this tube that has no solution in it. I'm just going to pour this sample. And it fills it about halfway, so I'm going to get the fecal solution and fill it just a little bit more, but leaving a little space at the top. I am gonna put the cap on, and I'm gonna take this and go centrifuge it. Okay, so our centrifuge does has a setting for fecals, so I'm just gonna put it on that setting and let this spin for about five to 10 minutes. So this is what your sample looks like once it has been centrifuged. Your sediment is down at the bottom. Okay, right, now I'm gonna take this sample and just take the top off of it. And then I'm gonna fill it until I get a bubble just like before. Take a cover slip and place it on top. And I'm just gonna wait for 10 to 15 minutes just like last time. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how to do a direct smear. So when you do samples like this, you're looking for abnormal bacteria. You can see things like Campylobacter or Giardia protozoas. I'm going to take some saline and just put a couple drops on a slide. Take my sample and I'm just going to mix the sample. So it's not too thick, but I do have some fecal material on the sample. Any large particles you want to discard. I personally like to put a drop of stain on my sample. It just helps me read it a little bit better. And then I'm going to put a cover slip. Finally, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do sedimentation. This is done usually on large animal parasites because the eggs of those parasites are too heavy to float. So I have my two gram sample. I'm just gonna add some water to this sample. Once my container is just filled with water, I'm going to mix the sample. I'm going to take some gauze and place it over a clean container and just strain my sample through. Go ahead and discard all of this. Then I'm going to pour that sample into another container. I'm going to fill it until there's just a little bit left up at the top. Put the top on it and then I'm going to centrifuge the sample. So once the solution has spun for five minutes, it'll look like this. So I'm just going to take off all this extra fluid. You can either pour it or pipette it out. I'm just going to pipette it out. I pipetted the extra fluid off without disturbing the sediment down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna take a fecal loop and take the first layer off of this sample. I'm gonna just place this on a slide. Then I'll place a cover slip over the sample. 
and then just examine the sample for parasites. All right, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!